The Little White Owl by Tracy Corduroy, illustrated by Jane Chapman. Once there was a little white owl who lived by himself in the snow. He didn't have a mummy. He didn't have a daddy. He didn't even have a name. But he didn't really mind too much. It had always been like that, and his head was full of happy stories. Sometimes he was a brave white knight, and sometimes he was a snowflake. Sometimes he was a rocket blasting off to the moon. But every night at bedtime, he sat on his favorite branch, nibbling toast spread with strawberry jam, and counting the stars by himself. Then one day, he looked at the big blue sky that stretched on and on forever. "I wonder what's out there," said the little white owl. So he packed his teddy and his clock. It was time to see the world. For days, the little white owl flew over turquoise oceans and deserts of gold. Then he spotted the prettiest trees, sprinkled with tiny jewels. So down, down, down he swooped. But wait, these jewels had beaks. They were owls, lovely owls. Owls just like him. Would anyone like a bite of toast? He said. But the lovely owls sat quiet and still. They didn't want to spoil their perfect feathers. How very plain you are! Groaned the green. No colors at all! Sniffed the dotty red. You don't belong with us. Go away. But I do have colors, cried the little white owl. Here, in my heart, and bumping up and down in me are lots of happy stories. I'll share them with you if you want me to. The owl sat and thought. Then, hmm, sighed the blue. A story might help pass the time. Fine, but just one, said the flowery pink with a yawn. So the little white owl swung on the branch with his little teddy, and he munched his toast and shared a happy story. Ah, breathed the blue owl dreamily, when the little white owl had finished. The other owls all glared at her. Whoops, sorry, she blushed. But couldn't we just have one more? So the little white owl closed his eyes, and magical stories came pouring from his heart. Colorful tales of castles and knights and dragons with fiery breath, and blasting through moonbeams and counting bright stars, and tumbling down like a snowflake. Slowly, and rather to their surprise, the owls began to smile. Ah, they breathed. Then suddenly. More! cried everyone. At last, when all his toast had gone, the little white owl checked his clock. Gosh, I have to go! He gasped. Back to my sparkly home. I need to feel the snow and count the stars. But then, a blue wing fluttered, and a tail of dotty red began to twitch. Take us too! cried the pretty owls, sweeping into the sky. We want to feel your fluffy snow and count your sparkly stars, and play and laugh and tumble just like you. So the little white owl led them home, where they tumbled and twirled on the ice, like splashes of rainbow. They speckled the snow, their colors brighter than ever. Later, they huddled together and sipped warm cocoa. Tomorrow, when we fly home, said the blue. The white clouds will remind us of you. Promise you'll visit very soon. I promise," smiled the little white owl, "and you can tell me all your stories." Then he snuggled up on his favorite branch, and was soon dreaming happy dreams, 
as a huge silver moon lit the deep, dark sky that stretched on and on forever. The End